Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So today is gonna be a like first impressions type of video. I got this new brush and I wanted to show it to you guys because I actually haven't seen it anywhere yet or anybody even use it. By the time you guys see this video, an, a mini Instagram tutorial using this brush will already be up. But I wanted to do a first impressions on camera too because it's a really cool brush. It looks like this. So it's meant for the outer corner of your eye. Um, it's by Wush Beauty, so that's the company right there. Kind of intriguing because I understand the concept and a lot of girls do struggle with like the outer V corner. Well, I do also. The outer like V corner thing of your eye. So this should be pretty helpful. It's a synthetic brush. Like you can tell that it's synthetic. All right, so this brush is $30. It's $29. So it says the power to achieve an even cat eye or a smooth smoky look. So it says simply stamp on your eyeshadow or liner using the bent brush end, then flip with to this side and smudge Flip to the smudger side to blend and refine, and voila, instant, easy, amazing. First, start my eye makeup like I normally would, and then use this brush at the end. And I'm just gonna put a shimmery shadow on the base. I'm gonna do one eye at a time, just in case I mess up. So now, I'm gonna use the brush. So I'm going to try a, like, a smoked out V, and it says, basically, to stamp it with, like, your eyes open so I'm going to go into I'm gonna go into a dark brown this one right here and it says all you have to do is stamp the brush in it so I'm gonna I'm going to to stamp it like this let's try it. okay so I'm going to take it and it says to keep your eye open and line it up line the bottom part of this to your lower lash line kind of like how you would do an eyeliner and you're supposed to stamp it on so oh okay well that wasn't dark enough so let's try again there we go do you guys see that? That's kind of cool. And then it says you flip it over and you blend out the shadow. I wish it was, so I'm going to use it again because I kind of wish that the V was like up here. And then you use this to blend it out. I don't like using this like angled part this angled part here I don't like using that to blend out so I would much rather use like a a pencil brush so I'm gonna switch to a pencil brush and blend this out that actually kind of works guys I think I like it do you guys see how it's kind of like a V I mean obviously the colors aren't like blended in but I can see how it works I'm going to go in with a a little bit of a lighter brown just to blend the shade in to be honest, I feel like this method is a lot better than using tape because every time I use tape, number one, one eye will be like up here and then one will be like down here, like the shape of the eyeshadow. Number two, it takes off your concealer and your foundation so you always kind of have to do it after, uh, before foundation or after, uh, you have to retouch after, after. This one, because the brush is so small, you're actually able to see exactly where you want the V and just stamp it, oops I did it again, stamp it right there and all you have to do is kind of blend it out right after so it saves the hassle of putting on tape and making sure it's even. This is a genius idea, why didn't I think of this? The only thing that you have to work hard on for this is like you want to make sure that you blend out the harsh lines because it is such a straight triangle corner that you want to always like, it. just blending the process out is what's taking the longest. Blending it out, do you guys see my eye? So now I want to try a black, because I used brown on my other eye, so I want to try black next. And basically, same thing, I'm going to be going into the black like this. I think I messed up on that one, I don't know. Then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. I'm not going to use the back of that brush, kind of don't like... To be honest guys, the hardest part of this is blending out the eyeshadow after the initial like triangle is put on. So that's how it looks. Honestly, I'm getting kind of tired blending it out. 
So overall, I do like the brush. I feel like it's great for beginners and people who struggle. Like, I struggle with my outer, outer V all the time. And it's nice to help you put the placement and then it helps you practice also. So because you can visually see where the triangle is on your eye and then you can kind of work from there each time and then kind of mimic the triangle so you may not even end up using the brush a lot of times but it's great to start off with I don't like to use I don't want to use this like angled brush here to blend it out it's a lot easier if you use a pencil brush I like it I think it's great for beginners if you are already pretty advanced I don't think you need this brush because you probably already know how to make the V of your eyes but this is good for people that are just starting off in learning how to do, do their own makeup this is even great for me because I struggle all the time and I don't want to you know put too much time into the tape thing and everything so I like this I like this more than the tape for sure like this replaces tape in my books because it helps you get the the shape you need without the whole hassle of getting your concealer out and foundation and everything put on again so yeah that was it for the video I do like it just really hard to blend out maybe the shadows that I use I will try it with different shadows but I wanted to do a first impressions on here first and now that you guys have stuck to the end of the video I am having a giveaway I'll post a picture of the giveaway like right after this and I'll have the details on how to enter down below you guys don't want to miss it there's an iPhone you could win an iPhone. So I'll have all the details down below and I'll list the, I'll have the picture of the giveaway items. I, there will be three winners. So I'll list the items and everything right after this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.